Hello everyone, and today I'm going to use ChatGPT to show you the easiest way you can create a quick flowchart that you can use to represent your ideas, add to your presentations or research papers. And the best thing is this process is completely free. So I'm just going to ask ChatGPT here to give me the steps needed to create a systematic literature review. Okay, and I'm going to enter that. Okay, and you can see here that it's given me almost a list of 12 different steps. Okay, very detailed, define the research question, develop inclusion criteria, and so on. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add this prompt. And what it says is, please create a flowchart representing the process of conducting a systematic literature review, incorporating the above steps, the steps that we have here, Ensure that related steps such as conducting literature search and screening selection are placed side by side. And you can change this if you have any related steps that you want to uh, put side by side, make sure that you mention that. Otherwise, it will just give you a completely um, step by step uh, diagram. So we're going to enter that and you're going to see that ChatGPT provides the uh, flow chart for us. OK, so once we've done that, we're not done yet with ChatGPT. We're going to say, give me the mermaid code for this and once we have this code you see that it's given us the code we're going to copy the code okay and that's all you need to do in the chat gpt part the next part you need to do is head over to a website called draw.io okay and this is completely free you just need to um, go to the website okay and once that's loaded you just decide how you want to use it that's fine it will take you to an untitled page so i'm just going to head over to file and i'm going to put file new and i'm going to call this the systematic review diagram okay uh, i'll click on blank diagrams already clicked and create okay so now i've got my page and then we're going to come up here to where it has the plus sign i'm going to click on that i'm going to go to advanced and then select mermaid. And inside here, I'm gonna delete the code that's already here and then paste in the new code that I've obtained from ChatGPT and then insert. And then what you see is that it's created a nice looking diagram for us with the step-by-step -step process. And you can play around with this and change it. You can add some more colors to it. So let's make this, for example, yellow, blue, and blue as well and then in the part where we've specified some kind of relationship here you can say say you don't like the arrows um, being circular you can just come up to this part and then choose uh, a different kind of arrow and then insert it here so you can play around with it in any way you want uh, for example if i come here I can click on style and i can choose to uh, select the color for the entire diagram and not only that by change Style. I can also change the shapes if I wanted to. I can change the uh, direction of the arrows and enter the text and change that as well. There's lots of different features that you can do here. Okay, so once I'm happy with my final di diagram and I want to export it, what I'm going to do is go to File and then select Export As. And you can choose whatever file you want. You want a ping file, a JPEG. So let's just select JPEG. And then I'm going to export that. And it's given it the name of the uh, file that I've used. And then once we open that, let's have a look. You've got a lovely file with your image, your final diagram. And then you could use that to insert into your presentation, your paper. And, and this is such a great tool to have. So I hope you found this video useful and that you give it a go creating your own diagrams and images using ChatGPT. Just a word of warning, sometimes ChatGPT will give you a very basic um, flow chart that is uh, step by step and vertical. So you need to play around with the prompt a bit. I've tried to add um, different sections here in the prompt to say things that are related, put them side by side. But you might have to experiment a little bit with the prompt to get get it to develop the code that you want. And you can specify, um, put these uh, two steps uh, together. You can tell it to create um, a, a rectangle for one of these steps. It's up to you, but it will take a bit of experimentation. But I hope I've shown you the basics of what you need to do. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.